and installation is done. When you see that you should reboot your computer, let's do that. So close the installation and restart your PC if it is required on your side as well. Now, when you are ready, double click on SAP Logon desktop icon and such window with SAP Logon will open up. And what we need to do now is to set up that SAP Logon so that it is going to connect to our SAP server, which may still be downloading on your side, but once it will be ready, we will connect directly to that system. All right, so what we are going to do now is either you can do the right click on this in this window and add a new entry, or you can click on new item, both buttons are going to get you to the same uh, pop-up window, which you can see right now, hit next. Okay, so in this window, we are going to set up all the connection parameters. So for description, we can put there ABAP Academy local SAP system. You can put there anything uh, in here, like it doesn't really matter. Uh, in application server, server, one to seven, period, zero, period, zero, period, one. Instance number, zero, zero, system ID, NPL. SAP routing string stays empty, finish. Okay, so right here you can see your connection. For now, just dub, no, don't, don't get there, don't double click or don't hit on logon because we still have to install the SAP server. This is the last step in order to make the whole thing work.